For the final testimony, I would like to make welcome on stage one of the sons in the house. This man is the divination of, of, let me use the word words now. He has a, a swift and an intelligent command of words. This man is an encapsulation, an embodiment of the spirit of Apostle Aomi Osai. With a clap innovation, can you make welcome on stage with me? Apostle Mike Oropo for his testimony. Can you make it louder? Come on now. We love you, sir. Ever looking elegant and excellent. Pat, I want to be like you again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I hope I don't start crying. <laughs> oh, I love you, sir. Thank you so much for all you represent. You know, I said earlier that if you want to see the splendor, the glory, the power, the excellencies of God, you don't need to look into the clouds. There are men living on earth today that are a report card of the goodness of God. Our Father in the Lord is a testimony of the fact that God is alive, He is living, and is ever good and benevolent. I came to our Father, a very proud and arrogant person, full of myself. I thought the word was, was missing out, having not seen me. <laughs> and the first day I met him, I said, Sir, I am a prophet. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and he held my hands and he said you are light you are light <laughs> he said we have messages go and receive them listen to them and when I listened to the messages without anybody telling me I saw the magnitude of my folly I realized I had no direction no discernment no wisdom no spiritual strength and I knew there was so much to learn because God is more than a gift God is life and I knew I needed to enter into the economy of life and again and again and again he held me by the hand and he led me through life I was I met God's servant when I was going through a difficult time my mom died my dad's only brother died my elder brother died at a point I felt there is Christianity could be a lie because I, I didn't know God as a person I knew the things God could do and by principles I learned some of them but I didn't know God as a person and he began to teach me the ways of God I, I remember many times learning some of the things he taught me I ran into roadblocks and I'll come back to him there was a time I traveled for a meeting I began to challenge territorial spirits and I almost died one of them came to me and for two weeks I was struggling with lust I went to him at night it was after the service what, what, what did they happen and they carried me to the house, took me to the well. We sat on the well outside at close to 12 midnight. And then he spoke to me, encouraged me, held my hands, prayed, rebuked that influence from my heart, my soul. And then from time to time, he, led, he sent me for meetings. The first time he sent me for a meeting, I was like, how do men represent you? Where do you start from? How do you go about it? And he it, it, it guided me through life. Today... I am obligated to testify because my messages, my personality, my ideologies and philosophies, my knowledge of God, my work with God is all a testimony of apostles' leadership, his love, and his work with God. Without Apostle Arume, we have no message. Without Apostle Arume, we have no identity. We have, without Apostle Arume, we have no direction. And that day will never come when we will be too proud to say to the world that he was the one that made us by the help of God. That day will never come where we'll be too full of ourselves to publicly attest to the fact that we knew nothing before we met him. And everything we know today is because he decided to lavishly release himself to us. And this is why today we also have a little to give to the body of Christ. I, I don't know how to complete this testimony because even the angels that work with me, they are eager to say thank you because you made the work easy for them. <laughs> you, made the work, you made the work easy for them. And um, I know you understand this language. So I'm bold to say, Rakabonde, Kibara, Hasida, Havaki, Tabara, 
Rakadida Sabak, Deleanda Sibandri Hevakados. That one was me and my angel saying thank you. Wow.